Back to my Fox 10. I hope everyone's having a wonderful night so far. So we've been talking about snow. We saw it this early morning and we're going to continue to talk about it as we head into our overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. Let's look at our weather headlines right now. Those overnight flurries are likely and then eventually we're going to see some light snow come tomorrow. And with that, uh, let's talk about some of the snowfall tolls that we've seen over the last few months through our snow season. December, we hit around six and a half inches of snowfall, but look at January. That's when we had the big event of 12 inches of snowfall. That just added up. Look at that, 22 inches of snowfall in January. So far in February, just shy of seven inches, a total of 36 inches of snowfall so far here in Terre Haute. And we can add to that come tomorrow morning if we get some more light accumulation across the whole Wabash Valley. Behind that, though, we're going to see some more cold air spill in, and it's just going to be a cold day come Monday and into Tuesday. Tomorrow, not all that bad, but we're going to have to deal with those clouds as well as some of that snowfall. Here's the clouds and radar. You can see most of that holding off to our north right here. Just some more cloud coverage, but with the colder temperatures and that moisture in our region. We could see some flurries as early as now and heading into the overnight hours. Our next disturbance though will be early tomorrow morning and that will give us a greater chance to see that snowfall. Look at our temperature change over the last 24 hours into the 20s and 1915 just much warmer. It was Friday morning where we hit 14 below. So as we head into the overnight hours, this number this is going to continue to go up. Temperatures right around 25 degrees. They haven't fluctuated much over the last few hours. We were at 25 degrees at 6 p.m. too. So that air is just kind of sticking around. It's not going to fall that much in the overnight hours. We'll be falling into the upper teens, possibly even the lower 20s as we head into tomorrow morning. Let's get through the future cast. This is right around midnight as we kind of put this into motion. That's going to start to move this moisture towards us right here. Now, as early as four in the morning, we can start to see some he heavier snowfall. It's going to be light, but heavier with the amount. And then eventually by seven o'clock, it's right over our region and then clearing out as early as noon. So we had some lingering snowfall, but by the time we reach later in the evening, we'll have a second wave holding off to the south. We could still catch some flurries here by Sunday at 10 p.m. And then come Monday, though, it clears out. We have Arctic high pressure start to form. And that's going to leave us with lots of sunshine in store for us for our afternoon. So one to two inches of snowfall is potential really north of Vigo County Park, Putnam, Vermilion. South of that, we can see up to an inch. So as you can tell, not a lot, but still those roads can be slick. And it's just going to be another morning where we can have a light layer of snowfall. So overnight tonight, I have us right around 19 degrees, 27 by tomorrow afternoon. And that snow is likely. And then right around three degrees by tomorrow night. Let's walk along further into that seven day forecast. You're hoping for some good news earlier, Jacqueline. Yeah, I think we'll have some sunshine, but temperatures not warming up all that much. 16 degrees come Tuesday, Wednesday, 30 degrees, but Tuesday morning back into the sub zero degree mark. Really some lessons in taking the good with the bad. Cold, but sunny. That's right. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Joseph. <laughs>